you're in tough times. The economy is rough. Business is slow. You have to look at budget cuts. But what is the last thing you should cut from your budget? The answer is marketing. Marketing is the last thing you should cut from your budget, but unfortunately, many times it's the first thing to go. In this episode, we're gonna talk about what you should actually do when you're facing these hard budget times, cash flow is tight for your business, and why marketing is the last thing you should ever cut. Hello and welcome back to The Content Box, the podcast that is your full service marketing solution. My name is Matt Tompkins of Two Brothers Creative. I'm joined by my co-host and the lovely, amazing, fantastic, supernatural, Tracy Winkler. She has supernatural abilities. I was gonna say, where's, hey everyone, and where's supernatural come from? One of these days I wanna do like a, 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 what do they call it? A companion podcast that's just all of our conversations off air. Like all the conversations. That would be interesting. Like, That'd be fun. The, the dating, the the weird situations, the, 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 we have some weird, we're like a couple of college girls, you know, we are. I mean, just having girl talk. Because Tracy crashes over at the bungalow when she visits Omaha. I do crash at the bungalow. And we so, don't want you to get any wrong yeah, ideas. She's this married, is... happily married. It's just she gets the first floor. I got the extra bedroom and I'm upstairs. Um, but it's great. It's fun. We're like, we're like two little, we got pajamas on, we're eating popcorn, we're watching. <laughs> <laughs> and we nerd out. We and do we a little do. nerding out and, and we're doing things. We're talking yes. marketing and business growth. Last night, so this was our conversation last night. We really got into this because this happens with a lot of businesses where businesses are facing tough times. Let's be, I mean, realistically, like you're going to face hard times. There are going to be times we have to make difficult decisions. There are going to be times where you have to let somebody go. They're not the right fit for your team. You're going to have situations where you're going to let a client go. They're not the right fit. Uh, you have to make those decisions uh, in these tough times. I, I can tell you firsthand, like the last 12 months of my life have been the most, I've been, let's just say, I've been through a transformation. Yes, you have, agreed, 100%. Personally, uh, in ways that are uh, to the core of my existence, like redefining who I am, that level of personal change. We're not gonna get into all that, right now but that'll could, take a that's a way different <laughs> episode and it's going to take a lot a longer podcast. it's a good one it's yeah a whole, whole podcast, whole podcast. yes but i can tell you that throughout the turbulence that the business faced i mean just to give you a, a taste one morning saturday morning I woke up to a text message from Catherine, our uh, cmo Catherine said hey check out this deposit i just got for one hundred and six thousand dollars." I pulled open the business checking account and it was negative $235,000. Now the payroll company that we used had royally screwed this up and they couldn't fix it for like a week. So we had vendors who were getting paid. We had employees who weren't getting, it was just a nightmare. Fortunately, our bank, First Interstate Bank, shout out, thank you for actually stepping in and doing something. Um, those are the type of curveballs, and that's just one of many thrown at us. Uh, we have survived, we've thrived. And how yes. did we do it? Well, we stuck to this premise we're gonna talk about here today, which is in these times where it's like, it feels like the walls are crashing in, it feels like where I'm gonna barely make payroll, what am I gonna do? That is when it is most critical that you focus on the big picture, the long-term goal, and you stick to what's right. Like, even though you can't afford to lose that client, they're not a fit to your core values, you gotta let them go. Because when you close those doors, Another that's door the only opens. way that new doors will open. It's yeah. the only way it happens. So going back to marketing and the one thing not to cut. So a client of mine specifically does, um, and I did a lot of work in trucking. So, and you know trucking, they're always what? Mm-hmm. Recruiting, recruiting for drivers. So one of my clients, I'd see clients that they'd want to shut it off the ads. Let's say they're doing ads for drivers, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, following me on that. And so they're wanting to shut it off because it, you know we got our we got the drivers we needed. Yeah. Well, that's the wrong approach. You want to always be recruiting. It's like investing. Yeah. It, it is investing. And so another one of my clients is always saying, "Never shut off the well. Always, always, always." And in a down economy, we want to always be there. So they are the type of client that they're like, "No, we don't shut off our marketing. We don't get." I don't know, what do you want to say? Erratic and deciding like, uh, yeah. you know, times are tough, we need to cut things out. No, this is the time to double down. And a lot of times companies should double down yeah. in their marketing. It's tough to make those decisions in the moment. It feels like you're in a storm. And it's, it's I, I like the analogy, like when you're in the storm or dare I say shit storm, uh, it, it's necessary because the storm, even though it's 
feels like everything is crashing and crumbling when you're in it. The storm is actually what takes you further than you could possibly go on your own. The storm will take you further than you have ever gone before on your own. And that is intentional. That ha You needed to go through the storm to get where you are today. But when you're in the storm, it's hard to keep your eye focused on like your core values, who you are, what is best for the company, right? And so when you look at budget cuts, you look at quick things to cut, uh, marketing is always at the top of the list. That's one of the first things people want to cut. It is. And, you know, and I see this more and more in small businesses and because there there's limited resources at times and some clients that, you know, you've worked with, you know, share some stories like how have you also like work with some clients that have made this decision and they come and they're like, oh, Matt, mm -hmm. you know. Yep. Uh, I'm struggling. Sticker shock. With yeah, the st and sticker shock. And like, uh, you know, and then they get a little bit like, we need the sale. And they get very, you know. Um, it's like aggressive or uh, needy. It's kind of. Um, they are needy. And because desperate. they're like, they're, oh, desperate. There you go. I couldn't desperate. think of the word. So yeah. thank you for answering for me. And they become very desperate. What are some ways that you coach them through that? When you're in that moment, it's tough. And it like, is. This, it's funny because like, it's in this, when you're in a relationship, it's the same way as when you're in like a sales relationship, like a personal relationship. So imagine, you know, if you're confident, if you're sure in yourself, if you're centered, you're going to be attractive to a mate, right? Uh, if you come across as desperate, clingy, yeah. needy, right? Unattractive. It's not that attractive, right? So it's the same way in business. So when you're in the moment, because I've been in that situation where we had a situation where a client, we parted ways. It was kind of, kind of, it, it involved a personal friendship. It kind of blew up. It was hurtful. It was kind of, in some ways, a little ruthless and cruel how they went about things. And so I had to give myself a day or two. I had to say, okay, you got a couple of days, mourn the loss, you know, sit in your sorrow and like be sad, be, you know, do your thing. But after that, we got to move on. And yeah. we did. And after two days, I gave myself two days and then I moved on because the only way I was able to do that is because I'd been working on myself for the last six to eight months. So I was really putting in the work on myself. I'm able to do that as the leader of the company. You have to be able to do that. You have to make the tough calls, which is marketing is the only way your business grows. It's the only way that people find out your business exists. You can't cut your marketing budget. Um, if you want to know how much you should spend, it depends industry yeah. to industry, but usually what, eight to 12% of your gross annual revenue. I was gonna say revenue. the lowest like 7% and yeah. going up to 12. If it is a high growth mm -hmm. company, it should be, it can go up to the 20, 25% depending. If you're a luxury brand, if you're a niche brand, if you're a relaunch, a go to market type of situation, then yeah, you're at like 20% of your gross annual revenue is what you should be investing in your marketing. Yes. Now most companies are not, they're not putting that most in there. Most are not, no. But if you're putting one or 2% in, you're not, you're not hitting the minimum you should be hitting for that return, and you can't cut that. You can't cut it, because I see this happen uh, when, when people cut things or they say, put a hold on this, we're not gonna do it because I don't understand it. Uh, we had a client, they cut, would not a sign off on blogs. These blogs were the sole driver of traffic to the website. 88% of the traffic came from these blogs, organic search. And they didn't understand blogs. I don't know if they thought it was like, sex in the city type blogs <laughs> that we were posting here. Like, no, they're not frivolous. They're doing the work. And you could see the decline over the next few months. And then you could see the impact it had on their mission, on what they were trying to do. And so the people that they were trying to help. So you, you have to stick, you have to make these tough calls and you have to stand by them because if you just fold under the pressure, everything's going to crumble. Nothing's going to work. Right. So, and usually you're, what happens, what I've seen is they'll pull back. Well, then it costs them more money to ramp yes, back up again, does, yeah. more money, more time. So they've lost the leverage of that, you know? So by cutting it, it seems like a relief at the moment, but actually what you're doing is going backwards. And that's the one thing that is hard to tell people that when they're in the moment, like you're saying, Yeah. but yet so many times I've had so many people that you know, made that, took that approach, and then they come back like, oh my, I should have never, mm -hmm. ever done that. Yeah. We should have kept moving forward, focus on what else can they do yep. to move the needle? Because marketing was one piece of it. Mm -hmm. Sales and marketing go together. And what are, you know, are, and don't just rely on marketing. Yeah. Marketing alone, it's, a, it, it's it, you know, the, it is one thing that it's, it's a tactic that works with other when, when combined efforts. When you're in a low place, 
that's the time to expand. Yeah. That's the time to think big. That's the time to commit. When your cash flow is tight and you don't know how you're going to make payroll, that's when you're going to invest in that A player who's going to cost you more money. You have to focus on these things. And so cutting your marketing, it's like an easy way out that's not even a way out. All you're doing is hurting yourself. You're giving yourself what? A, a, one of my favorite quotes here is, don't let the fear of a temporary three or four prevent you from a permanent nine or 10. Yeah. That is what you're doing. Great quote. You're getting a temporary like, okay, a little bit of budget relief. Oh, I can kind of sleep a little bit at night, but not really. For what? Then you're gonna kill your marketing. You're gonna kill the growth. You're gonna kill all the traffic coming to your website and the leads in the business. No, you should be investing more. This is an opportunity. Yeah. Like tough times economically are an opportunity because everybody's gonna think that. That scarcity mindset is gonna creep in. Apply the abundance mindset. Apply this, I'm gonna invest when everybody else is pulling back. And like most people will wanna pull back, but you can have that leverage and know not to pull back yeah. in this scenario. So knowing that people will automatically try to pull back, we're telling you, don't pull back. Yes, we're not trying to make you make any you know rash decisions or anything like that, but really go in, go all in, and just trust the process and trust those that you're working towards and the goal that you're trying to hit, right? Yeah. Being the person who steps forward, who does the opposite of what everybody else is doing, when everybody else is pulling back because the economy's tight, elections coming, we don't know what's gonna happen, everybody's tightening up their wallets. If you're the person to step forward and say, listen, I'm doubling down, mm -hmm. all right? I'm gonna do like, uh, how many companies have done this over like Amazon, I mean, all these. So back in 2000, yeah. the Amazon did it. So Jeff Bezos did it. And he, when the economy was really tough, it's like he just, it was time to double down. Netflix has done it, mm -hmm. you know? And think of 2020 and some of the biggest names that came out of and moved forward and had to think differently and change things are the ones that are really excelling now because they doubled down and they didn't give up because they're like, you know, when the world's shutting down, that was one real test of time. Yeah, our company was literally forged out of the pandemic, 2020. First client started working with them in May of 2020, officially started the business October of 2020, mid pandemic. So this was, and the reason that we had success is we were finding these creative solutions to problems in digital marketing. They just weren't there. And so it grew from there. So there is no emergency. No, there's no such thing as emergency. It's a good rule just to have for your personal life because we let those emails and those texts and everything else, everything's an emergency. There is no such thing as an emergency. You know, if there's a real emergency, like you just cut your finger off or something, you'll know it. Outside of that, there is no emergency. Think, apply that mindset to the economy and think in terms of decades and not and not months or weeks or days. This is a long game. Yes. We're we're in a marathon here. We're not we're not sprinting and we rash decisions can really cost us. If the book uh, Good to Great yes. is is a good one. They looked at all these the top performing companies that stood the test of time, faced all these different things and you look at the commonalities and the things in this book they recommend. A lot of it influences like with System Soul that uh, uh, you do the, the business coaching with. Uh, you look at these things and they're very subtle. It's like committing to the process. The, it, it's not big brash things. It's not. Um, what can they be best in the world at? Yeah. What am I best in the world at? I'm gonna stick to it. I'm gonna invest in it and ignore all the distractions around you. Economy stuff, okay, there are opportunities. I do not believe, and we had a client a prospect come in and say this. I do not believe anybody who comes in and says there's just nothing there. There's no opportunity. There's no way to win. That is a defeatist attitude. That is somebody who wants out. And mm -hmm. that's fine. Get out then. Yeah. But there is always an opportunity. There's always a way to win. And usually in those tough times, that's where you find the best opportunities. Yeah. The gold mines. Because nobody else is looking. There's no competition. So commit to that. It's tough. But marketing is the last thing you should cut from your budget. It is really kind of a, it's a bit symbolic of just how you should approach your business. You have to do what's right in the face of adversity and all this shit that's gonna be thrown at you. Yeah, and just staying proactive is one of the real keys. And I know it sounds cliche that we're saying this, you know, to not cut your marketing, but from story after story, from client after client that have done it, they regret it. Mm -hmm. And it's stick to the process, think outside the box, you know, uh, trust your gut, understand what your market wants and needs and keep doing it. Yeah, you, I've never seen a situation where somebody cut their marketing budget and then and was happy about, about it, you know, a year later, two years later. Or 
are, and I, some I, might not be in business anymore. Yeah, some aren't in business. And I have seen pretty much every instance that somebody has cut their budget, it ends up costing them more in the long run because they got to jumpstart it and restart it when they come back. So don't cut your marketing. Like you can shift your marketing around. You can shift the focus. You can make it work in different ways and adapt to what's happening with the economy. Yes, absolutely. But cutting your marketing budget, that's saying like, okay, we're going to stop growing for right now. We're just going to pause. You don't <laughs> want to grow. Just going to chill. Is that Doesn't a good work. business decision? No, no absolutely, absolutely not. not. So that's what you're really saying. You're not cutting your marketing budget. You're saying, nah, I don't want to grow. I don't want any more new business. I'm good. I'm good. Correct. And so here's what the big thing we just want you to take home is it's really not about we're trying to force you to keep the marketing budget. I, I really like what you said about reallocating it, re-looking at it, but just don't cut it. Mm -hmm. Moral of the story, just don't cut your marketing. Thanks for joining us for this episode of The Content Box. In the show notes, we've got plenty of resources absolutely free you can download. Uh, check them out, apply them, use them, and keep growing your business. <laughs>